Okay, today's job, I'm going to be running some cables up in the loft. But because I'm a big guy and I don't really want to be crawling around in the lofts and the lofts aren't like they are in the UK, they're all just suspended ceiling, so they're all pretty, well, pretty flimsy, really. So I've got that loft opening already in my little store cupboard. And what I did, I put a, another loft opening in another part of the house in the, in the bathroom, or one of the bathrooms. So this gets me towards that one there, put that one there. So that gets me towards the back end of the house. So I was able to put, run the cable into this socket. So now I'm gonna run another cable from there. So it's gonna end up as a, a cable down here. Then I'm gonna run another cable up along the loft and I'm gonna put it in this corner and that will feed my Wi-Fi. So to sort of get into the middle of the house, I'm gonna put another loft hatch opening just here, next to the fuse board as well. And there's other things I need to do with the fuse board and running other cables. And this is all just so I can run emergency backup power just in case the electric goes off. So, but I enjoy doing it. It's, it's a challenge and I'll show you as I go along the way. is why I don't walk around the loft because it is just so so well crazy I've got to say all the pipe work this this goes down to a fuse board down there and all the cables have been run up into into the pipe work but it's certainly not been a tidy job, as you can see. There's still cables running all over the place. And what I've done, I've run also this pipework. This pipework goes to the to the cable at the farther furthest end of the house for my battery backup. But I put everything in cables. And it runs through there. So it's just it's just to stop the the critters from nibbling the cables. But this is why I haven't walked around in the loft. So I've run the cable into the into the bedroom and I put black sockets on there that denotes it comes from the solar panel. We say plug it in. And there we go, we have the fan working. Now again, I've put the system in so, so that's on two, whack it up to three. Perfect. So that's where I'll put it in for, it's the emergency backup. So if the electric goes off, we can actually, we can have fans. And I've done the same in here. Same with the black socket, plug it in and we can get the fan to work so so you know what it's like when it's very very hot you'll do anything as i said to keep cool so the fan we can have use of the fans and also what we we're going to do with this one is that the tv can plug into this one so we, we'll have the tv working and what i've done over here i've put another one another socket just there watts and because of this i can disconnect there from the plug and then plug it into there <coughs> and there's me wi-fi source so i'll just plug that into there and that gives me access to my computer and my tv so that was just the basic installation of a very 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 basic setup and anybody can do this it's basically just plug and play and you can do it even cheaper if you wanted to. You could actually just get a battery and an inverter. But then 
you need something to, to recharge the battery back up. And as he already had the solar panels, um, it just makes sense. So I hope you enjoy the basic setup that I've done with the solar. If you've got any comments and suggestions, put them in the comments down below. But I am going to improve this system because at the end of the day, there is no fuse now, very, very little fuse. And I was an electrician in the UK, so I'm going to put fuses in there. But basically, you can buy this from Lazada, you can buy that from Lazada and put a fusible um, extension bar in there and away you go. Right, so this is the improvements I've done to the board. These are the fuses which are supplied from the solar panels. And this one is supplied from the electric from the inverter which goes through the RCBO and it's a 16 amp fuse which then protects all the sockets down line. So this is the, the board in situ now before I put the battery in. As you say the, they go down to the cables which go inside the house. It's a 16 amp RCBO fuse and these are the two fuses that come from the solar panel the cable there the cable there which comes from the inverter feeds the live and the neutral on the rcbo and there's two isolation switches so now that's all fused up and ready to go so to get the to get the rcbo working you need an earth connection also so as the power is given from the inverter it isn't it doesn't go back down to source so therefore you need to connect connect the grounding wire to the neutral wire of the RCBO and what I've done I've used the structural steel as an earthing bar because this goes all the way down and it goes down into the ground because it's concrete because I did it myself and every post it's connected together by bolts and screws and things like that so there's a, a good mechanical connection so all of this structure is sort of acting as an earth because it's all into the ground so yeah that you can use structural steel as an earth bonding and basically as i'm wondering going to be using this for emergencies it is it is adequate okay to test the rcbo I've got this socket tester, so if I press this, it will trip the RCBO. So now I've got my computer running and my monitor, and I've got the fan running in the living room and the TV. So everything is running off the battery backup now. So my little watt meter now is telling me that everything is running 180 to 200 watts. So that's the maximum we're going to be using with the fan, the TV and the computer. So I think the whole system costs less than 10,000 baht. So from Les, hope you enjoyed the solar. Bye for now.